is worth mentioning is what China is doing. In the last two months, rolled out a bunch of sweeping reforms. If you're under the age of 14 and you use Douyin, which is their version of TikTok, when you swipe the videos, instead of getting like the influencer dancing videos and soft pornography, you get science experiments you can do at home, museum exhibits, and patriotism videos. Wow. So you're scrolling and you're getting stuff that's educating because they want their, their kids to grow up and want to be astronauts and scientists. They also limit it to uh, 40 minutes a day for TikTok. They also, when you scroll a few times, they actually do a mandatory five-second delay saying, hey, do you want to get up and do something else? Like, because when people sit there infinitely scroll, even Tim Cook recently said mindless scrolling, which was actually invented by my co-founder of the Center for Humane Technology, Aza Raskin. He invented, he was in The Social Dilemma. He's the one who invented that infinite scroll thing. Mm. Um, China said, hey, we don't want people mindlessly scrolling. So after you scroll a few videos, it does a, a mandatory five-second, like, interlude. Also have opening hours and closing hours. So from 10 p.m. until 6 in the morning, if you're under 14, it's like it's closed. Meaning um, one of the problems of social media for teenagers is if I'm not on at 1 in the morning, but all my friends are on and they're still commenting mm. on my stuff, I feel the social pressure. I'm going to be ostracized if I don't participate. Right. And if your notifications are on, your it, phone keeps buzzing. Totally. And even if they're not on, it's like, oh, but I want to see if they said something yeah. about my thing. 